really, really important to understand that uh, spirituality and grounding, or making money, or making living are not two different things. Most of the spiritual people are actually separating it, especially because money is, uh, has a bad name in the spiritual world. Uh, we have to understand that money is like everything else around us, it's just pure energy, and then it depends how each of us using this energy. Money can bring food to people, you can buy flowers to people with it, can build beautiful buildings. Uh, money as well can bring drugs to kids and then build, uh, you know, uh, weapon machines. But it doesn't make money good or bad. Um, so when people are not grounding in the, from the point of view of yoga, is actually means that their energy is not even in the lower chakras, the lower energy centers, um, at the same as in the upper chakras. And many, many people actually enjoy having energy in the higher chakras because it feels nice and you are out of this world. You are not belongs to the, this world. But from the point of view of any high level spirituality, being grounding is not less important than being um, in the higher chakras. Grounding is clarity, grounding is seeing the picture as it is, grounding is moving in the physical uh, world. This is actually mainly what grounding is. And if we are in this physical body and we move in this physical world, we have to be grounded. So you will have to find ways um, to expand this field if you feel that you're lacking of it. But if you say, until I'm not doing this, there is no point for me to continue on the spiritual path, you're actually even more separating things. Why not to use the tool or the way to ground yourself and do it in a spiritual way? And all it means being aware, being the observer, watching why I have problem to make living, why I have problem to take decisions, why I have problem to make money. If you observe it already from this point of view, you are actually doing spirituality. That's the beauty of it. So we, I think we all have sometimes to question what spirituality is and if we're creating these fairy tales about spirituality, it's these things out there, usually it's up, pastel colors, uh, flute music, um, you know, and all kind of myth. Spirituality is much more grounding than these fairy tales. Really what it means is free ourselves from our mind. Doesn't mean that we don't use the mind, but we use the mind instead of being abused by the mind. Okay? And one of the things that needs to be abused by the mind is when the mind tells you things about yourself and you believe in it. Like, I'm not grounding. <laughs> I cannot find work. I am too spaceship or whatever. I'm too grounded. I'm not the type to be spiritual. This is all mind talk. But if you become the observer and you watch the mind, you start to make a choices when the mind talks make sense and when you're like, I am not even going to listen to this nonsense. I know. Very spiritual to make money. Very spiritual to make living in any form that you would like to do. Nobody tell you be rich or not be rich. But don't separate things as this is spiritual and this is not spiritual. It's not the actions we're taking in life, it's from where we are perceiving these actions. Yeah, it's not that I don't want to make money. Money would be great. <laughs> I've been broke for a really long time. That's painful, but sounds painful. <laughs> it's not so bad. <laughs> oh, okay, that's already a good but, perception. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind it. I, I just, like, I, my biggest problem is just deciding, I guess, what it is that I want to do and committing to something. Because that's, that's more of my problem. I can't, I kind of move around from one thing to another and just... Who said this is wrong? You see, in our society, it's very clear how things need to be, and it's always to serve, actually, the matrix, the system. People need to commit for 40 years. Why? Because it's just served the industry. You know, if there is a secretary for 30 years, it's very good for the office. But that's not your problem. <laughs> that's their problem. <laughs> you understand? So, 
sometimes people tell me I have problem, I'm like this and I'm like that, and I'm like, what's the problem? Why you need to commit? Or people tell me I feel like I'm not committing to relationship, and then people judge me for this. But commitment for relationship, you see, this is the our evolution drive that tell us you have to be commit because commit because this is how the game play. If you don't want relationship, don't commit to relationship. So if you're moving from one thing to the other, now be creative enough to make money as you're moving from one thing to the other and make sure that one thing from the other include the bank as well <laughs> on the way so you deposit money. Why? You understand, young people tell me I don't know what to do. I'm very confused. Why you need to know what to do so early? Because it suits the system out there? Because they want to make you soldiers as, as quick as possible so you don't think about anything else but your work? And then if suddenly people go to university, they have career and suddenly they feel, I actually want to, do, to go and travel. And then everybody will tell them, are you wasting all the years at university for the great career you're graduating now? You have a career and you're going to travel? No, it doesn't suit the, the system. That's exactly what you have to start to watch. Are you just a small unit that's here to serve everything? Or you have a choice now to see how you're moving in this world. And maybe if you will get into uh, terms with, I'm not committing right now to anything for long term, you will find a way to be with this, be very creative with this. And then don't close your mind that you are not a person that can commit, because on the way maybe you will find something and suddenly you will feel to commit. That's the thing when you have no ideas about who you are. But everyone out there will tell you you're wrong. I'm telling you already. If you don't dress like everyone, if you don't think like everyone, if you don't act in the steps that already you're supposed to as a young person, you are wrong. There is a module here, and you all should fit into this module. And that's what I do. I'm going around and telling, especially the young one, Create your unique path on the spiritual path and in life. Be brave to create an authentic path. And if your authentic one is to follow the system, enjoy too. If that's your authentic decision, you don't have not to do it because it's not cool. You understand? You can do whatever you want. You want to get married and have children and have mortgage for 40 years and you have two cars and you went for your pension, do it. If that's what you want, you don't care if it's boring. That's what you want to do. That's the freedom. You don't have to prove anything to anyone that you have a special life. But become the observer and start to observe. Are you driven by the system? Are you driven by your instructional manual? Or you a free person to make your own choices. That's not easy and you won't get support out there. I'm telling you already, you're on your own. Sometimes you will meet like-minded people and then it's nice to stick with them because you, when you say, I cannot, and you say, oh, me too. <laughs> Let's get together and create a special business when we actually supporting young people to do what they want and we charge the parents. Yeah, you have a new business. <laughs>